Hello and welcome to the part 5 of Anthropic Dichotomy. In the last part we actually did something nice. We revenged uh, Atlas and defeated Saina with um with with uh with the strategy of deceiving the high order entropics and kept them thinking that we split up but we didn't we uh, stayed in the tower and let an ambush also we also managed to find out on Persicara's site where the professor is and pinpoint their location with the help of eos so now we are about to find out what happened next in part 17 deep bar lining the way ahead is distant and indistinct and the heavy clouds obscure the star's light in the middle ring of tartarus sector Eos looks into the distance at the ruined watchtower known as Objective Tower B2. Alcyon is no longer inside. Let's part ways here. According to our previous arrangement, Eos will travel with you while I will go alone. So we'll go stick now to the initial plan to splitting up to the Another two watchtowers and activating the halo comes are still impossible inside the Tartarus sector. To so take the unmost caution when moving, send up a signal arrow if anything happens. Fortunately, the activation of a halo can be seen from anywhere in the middle ring. Even without comps, we can motion each other status. By keeping an eye on the watchtowers. Ah, uh, that does sounds like something you would say. Let's see which of us can activate their tower first then. Eos, do you have any further questions? Ah, uh, I... Isphoros, we only need to have the halos of three watchtowers activate at once to activate the ring white halo, right? Indeed. So it is written in the revelations. We have also seen the prophecy of the halos before this. Have we not? Once we activate the halos, all the entropics will be suppressed and we will be able to destroy Malkira. I hope. Yes, all the sacrifice we have made up to that point will have been worthwhile. Icefor's words seem to contain some kind of thawing magic. Eos nods and look from the tower. Relax. You would think we just lost a battle from the look on your face. Pardon me. I ought to readjust my emotional modules. You are giving yourself too much pressure. Go clear the redundant data in your system. Much as I would like to give you a chance to rest and relax, we sadly do not have that time for that right now. Even now, entropic forces are returning from the front lines to reinforce this place. As for us leads all frontline units, but even he cannot divert the attention of all the creatures in the Tartarus sector forever. I understand, time is precious, and we cannot let this slow of future movement. You, make sure you take care of Eos afterwards. Oisphoros turns to me and solemnly pats me on the shoulder before turning to leave. Man, it almost looks like the Oisphoros is a nice guy. Eos, let's get a move. Are you ready? 
And you? Huh? Did Isolus tell you why we sent the fires where we can't? Oh, uh, <laughs> about that. Uh, the reason Eusphorus told Alcyone to tell the truth. I, I cannot just tell the truth. Perhaps Eusphorus didn't believe in himself. He simply told me his guess. Even the guess led towards a blasphemous conclusion. Nobody ca could have spoken it out loud. I understand. Tartarus weakening, weakening of sanctifiers was far too absurd, both in terms of its trigger and execution. That absurdity was the most terrifying things, uh, thing about it. I simply could not calm my uneasiest. I told you before that I know Eusphorus very well, and if I felt uneasy about something, then he would too. And in trust, I could guess what you were talking about. Eos looked in the direction where Eusphorus left. Your conversation with Eusphorus involved the gods, right? Remain silent. Silent. The truth is, I am a little worried about Eusphorus. This mission is an all or nothing bad. He had no choice, given the deadline they got set. Even Oisphorus in unsettled. He turns to his fate for spiritual support and to his voice of reason for solence. But if either of them could lose their effect, Eos lowered her head. Her sleeves fluttering in the winds as, the, as her sanctifier's badge glitters. After a moment of silence, she looks back towards me. Eusphorus is so strong that nobody in the reverse tower can imagine him being miserable or fragile. But I know what that looks like, and so do you. I see him. If anything really happened, then I will be counting on you to do what the best for him. So Eusphorus did had some some great sanctifier, like like the professor right now, like some strategic, like really good at thinking. And right now we are taking place of the sanctifier. And probably the sanctifier got lost in the battle. After whispering those words, Eos looks back up and smiles at me while taking my hand as though nothing has happened. Let's go, take down the other tower. Shortly afterwards in the middle ring of Tartarus sector. In the former Sanctify Watchtower, designated Object Tower B3, Oisfru slowly walks towards the Watchtower holding the relic in his hand. His fierce, sharp operands easily degrade any entropics then cross his path. Ooh. Dolimea, it's time for battle number two. Rematch. Welcome, us. And he just slaughtered him. The girl at the entrance is cut to pieces before she can finish speaking. Eusphorus steps over the Ptolemaeus trunks and enters the watchtower, where he is greeted by another <laughs> card scene girl. It seems your understanding of the relic has improved further. I believe you will have fully mastered this weapon before long. No? I wonder what will happen when you fully unleash the sword's power. Uh, are you, why are you talk, take, ta, uh, <laughs> talking so like it was all planned? What's this? Does it 
discomfort the entropics that I am learning more about the relic. Ah, your sanctifiers are always so hostile. Why can't you just use something like that as a conversation starter? As you know, the ball has begun. But before the host speaks and the band officially begins playing, there will be a short time for the guests to, man to mingle and speak. Ptolemea seems to consider Eusphorus a familiar, trusted companion. She turns aside and gestures for him to continue onward as he passes by. Part of this tower's lower level has collapsed for various reasons. If you wish to hit to the roof, you may proceed this way. As for a sword hand tramples, but in the end he chooses not to strike. He takes a deep breath before blinking, then smiles. Please, lead the way then. Ptolemea looked up at Oisphorus. For the first time, she seemed surprised. It would be my pleasure. I don't feel easy about Oisphorus and how Entropics uh, are dealing with them. Like, please come this way then. You can take a left turn here to return to the stairs and continue on the proper way to the watchtower's roof. Is the halo system in the center of the roof? Of course. The collapse did not affect the structure of the upper levels. Sounds like good news. I mean, she looked like angry I guess are you curious about my sudden change in attitude I am merely ashamed that I do not know my partner as well as I ought to I can help you understand all you need to know is this the centifiles will wipe all out entropics that is our purpose, and the will of the gods. I am willing to see what tricks you have prepared to shake my fate. If those tricks end up helping me accomplish my mission more quickly, so much, so better. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I don't like this, I don't like this, stop. Ptolemea chuckles, and her lava ashes through the interior of the quiet watchtower. When I first met you, I found your conduct and that of your companion boring. You were nothing like the information I had obtained about you. Now, however, you seem as interesting as the persona I imagine for you in the past. The past. You have researched me? The Battle of Warzone Sama, Sama? The aerial battle at 0426 CGN? The ambush of Warzone Border? We have crashed many times before was in different ways from right now. So you were the entropics behind those incident. But you have made one mistake. I was not the one who crashed the entropics ambush at Wazon Boulder. Huh? Was it him? No wonder. Our setbacks during the ambush back then dealt a fatal blow to our <laughs> deployment. Both the execution and timing were most exquisite. It left a deep impression on me. Okay, what? 
Who, who is Scrat? What, what do you mean? Us? Was I in the past really a great sanctifier? Who I? Well, like, whose persona am I right now imitating? I'm not the professor right now, right? What's going on? If the reverse tower had more sanctifiers like you and him, the Anthropix would be having a harder time. You flatter me. Which is why I'm curious. About what? I'm curious as to why. Despite being taken by surprise and weakened, you would still choose to continue deeper into the Tartarus sector. If you wish to pursue us to withdraw, you can save your effort. We have the relic, and there is the hello system in the middle ring. The first is an unrivaled weapon. The second has been successfully activated to suppress hordes of Anthropics, and when fully activated, it can even reach the inner ring. Why should we not carry on? Oisphorus come to an halt. Pierre Ptolemea have reached the center of the watchtower's roof, and the core control terminal stands before the two of them. Do you need me to clear away the surface corruption? I can do it myself. Tornemea shrugs and steps aside. She continues asking Oisfos question as she leans against a nearby wall. Indeed, the relic is most devastating to Anthropics. The hell of system is even more troublesome. However, you could not guarantee their possession before you set out. Why are you so confident that you could obtain them? Or are you saying that you are carrying on, the, on to take revenge for your friends? If I'm not wrong, that Sanctifier's name was... Ooh. He got angry. Flash. Before she can finish speaking, Ptolemy's body is promptly cut to pieces. Oisphorus puts away the relic without looking back and continues walking on the core terminal. I do not recall giving you permission to speak his name. Ah. <sighs> A brand new Ptolemea stepped out of the shadows. She picks a high place and sits down there, resting her chin in her hands as she watches Oisphorus walk. Even the time constraints of this operation came from the revelation of your god, right? Uh, I'm bored now. I thought I will be able to see another side of you, Sanctifier. But you are still the same. Your devotion to the gods verges on the mindless. Ptolemyon narrows her eyes, and the way lines of core race through her eyes is as though she's receiving a divine revelation on her of her own. If just obtaining the Rubik's map had such ruinous effect on the Sanctifiers, then do you not think activating the Hello system would have ill effects of its own? What happens if we continue further in the Tartarus sector and encounter more ridiculous malware? Well, then, we will just have to overcome them. Oisphorus hands pause briefly over the control panel, but he soon returns to normal. Then, we will simply overcome the penance 
we have been assigned. Huh? Even if the ones punishing you are the very gods you revere? Osphorus straightens up and looks at Ptolemy. Then it's the activation key. We sanctifiers are the defenders of Magra Sea. Protecting the cloud server is our calling. Ooh. Probably that's Malkia. Mal 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 the one big sanctifier. That's a god answer. Certainly better than something along the lines of my fate is beyond question. Osphorus turned to the source of the voice, his system primed and ready for battle. The fact that Anthropic managed to come so close without him even detecting her makes his heart think. I told you earlier, the ball has begun. But before the host speaks and the band officially begins playing, there will be a short time for the guests to mingle and speak. The two of us have spoken at great length, and later time is over. The following time will naturally be yielded to my noble master. I, I thought she cannot leave the space. Ptolemy leads down from where she is sitting and curtsies, then steps aside. Oh, she did actually escape. A figure slowly emerges from the shadow, seated upon a grand throne of interlocking reaching tentacles breathing I have come to see you as far as your operance level are you a clown? it seems you are not being very sincere about this meeting I would like to meet you in person of course but Unfortunately, a caged bird can unlock its own prison. Relax, I am now intending of hiding myself. However, your limited warning system were no longer able to detect me. And I assume if we activate all the hollows, we actually free her and her barrier will weaken. Probably. So that's why they don't mind activating all the hollows. Still, that is alright. I forgive you for being cautious. This is only your first time meeting me after all. More importantly, I am very interested in you, Osphorus. Judging by your tone, you have seen me before. Of course, I have been looking forward to this day, to the day you could reach this place, to the day you could stand before me. Be at ease, I will reach you like you want, and then I will destroy you. Oh cold, I thought everything Ptolemya did was enough to show you the kindness of the Anthropics. Why are you still so harsh and aloof? Could you not treat me the way you did her just now? Malkira puts on a show of being hard. Even the tentacles below her drop sadly on the ground. However, this does not shake Osphorus. His thorny aura of hostility does not fade. I have no intent in your disingenuous display. 
our relationship is simple. We are nothing more than past, deceit and path. Not audience and actor. If you Anthropix truly had kind intention for the Sanctifiers. If you sought some means of peaceful resolution or other. More absurd and ridiculous considerations. Then why not come clean at our first encounter? Because not every Sanctifier deserves the kindness of the Anthropix. And there I thought I had already used up my own one chance. You can have as many chances as you want. The same applies to Hesperus, who is brawling with my children on the front lines. The world of the Anthropix is much more direct than that of the Sanctifiers. An individual with potential will receive more chances than those who do not. Malkira's tone shifts from heart to delight in an instant. She peers outside the windows, window, looking at the other two watchtowers through the glass. There is a hint of mockery in her tone. Also, I wish to emphasize this. Ever since the Sanctifier set foot in the Tartarus sector, you were no longer the arbiter of the nature of our relationship. If I want to see how this all plays out, then the Sanctifiers will all have to play their roles. Huh? You have clones and the other two watchtowers? No, why would you think that? It seems you still don't understand the lengths of which I have gone. There is a price to be paid for meeting you in the middle ring. My sincerity does not come cheap. Still, that too is fine. Expectations are merely expectations, nothing more. I'm curious as to how far you can go. Monkira's face goes blank again. She yawns lazily and sits down by a corner, hugging her legs. Below her, the dropping tentacles suddenly go erect and bristle with sharp points. Come then, Oisphoros. Let me see if you can surprise me after obtaining the relic. Ooh. I don't feel easy here. I guess we will just see what happens. Unstoppable. Wicked Illusions, part 18. Phantom separated by the merest of margins, steam the lost points of light. Whatever it's supposed to mean. In the middle ring of Tartarus sector. After leaving the ruin of Watchtower Object Tower B2, Eos and I hid into the deeps of the labyrinth. So we're right now on the side of us. Along the way, massive wall crashed and in intersect while anthropics bloom in and out of view. The native the natives of Tatro sector subordly protest our presence in their own way. Uh, we're not getting attacked. Crack. After turning the corner, another group of monstrous bodies break apart, crumples and disintegrates before my eyes. 
What's wrong? You looks like you want to say something. It's nothing, I just want to know that your strength and that of Oisphorus are on a completely different level from the other great centifiers. I downloaded some combat support modules from my database to help ease some of the stress on you, but I guess it wasn't necessary. Eh, <laughs> well, Oisphorus is one of the Sanctifier's leaders, after all, and my existence was for his sake. Yeah, Eos. Even have like similar name and similar looks in like this hole in chest. Don't worry about it. Your speciality is in combat. Your strength lies in analysis and leadership. Do they not? They do, yes. But at the same time, but if I think about it, this is why Oisfor is so interested in the professor right now, right? Because it reminds him on the great center file he once had. I will consider that praise. With a sigh, I return the short sword that I haven't even fully drawn back to its sheet. And once again, bring up the Rubik map to confirm our path forward. <laughs> that... <laughs> Seeing you this crestfallen is something new. It's kind of cute. And different from my usual impression of you. You have done very well. Also keeping the elite entropics from catching up with us is more than a little useful. Honestly, with Electra badly wounded and Alcyone out of it, if you had not helped by them time, I dare not imagine what would have happened to them. Eos shakes her head as though she doesn't want to keep discussing the topic further and shifts her gaze to the Rubik's map in my hand. It's because we are all different that we need each other. Just like interlocking pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Diversity is our strength, so why be frustrated by it? All you need to do is what you are good at doing. Oh, you point out the way forwards and remind everyone to avoid traps is also quite charming. Even if you say that, just as my voice trails off, another pack of entropies come into view. Eos obliterated them with a wave of her hand before they can even announce themselves with their cries. However, just then, a sense of something out of place in the Rubik map, just as I put it away. Hold on, Eos. Looks like we meet an enemy. Are you still upset? In that case, why don't I leave you a few for a warm up during our next encounter? Uh, there is no need for that. Let's talk about what I'm good at doing. Have you noticed something strange about the frequency and timing of the Anthropix attacks on us? I wave my hand to the the sense of oppression I was feeling just now, then bring the Rubik's map before Eos' eyes, indicating that she should view it with me. Every time the wall moves, whenever we reach a junction or when the traps activate, we get ambushed by entropics. Isn't that a normal development? I would attack at times like this if I were an enemy. Problem is, they are being too precise with the timing of their ambushes. 
their attack patterns are far too similar. similar. It's almost as though they were ambushing us just because. I share the real-time optical data display that I'm using with else and highlight several items. Do you see? Once the rate of change and can't reach those thresholds, a pack of entropics show up in front of us as though it were planned. Oh, uh, I think this is this is referred to the spider attacking us. Huh? Eos rubs her chin thoughtfully. I wonder if I should get a second neural cloud system installed. Huh? I'm just kidding. Your system interface is way too complicated. I'm having some difficulties handling the data flow. The categories you have highlighted do seem problematic, but that is far as my analytic band. What do you think? So you can't see anything else either? In that case, hmm, I need to start at the possibilities. I'll bring up the map again and try to reproduce the labyrinth data during the previous entropic attack and examine the changes in the data from different angles. However, this isn't working. I don't have enough effective information, not enough to produce any useful conclusion at least. That's alright. There's still some time before we reach the watchtower. We can still gather more information on our way there. Let me handle the other threat. Is there anything else that I can help you analyze? Please do your best to go easy on the enemies we encounter afterwards and observe their reactions. Let's see if we can learn something from them. Is that all? You can feel free to rely on me more. Pieces that are too squared off won't be able to fit together with their peers. You just need to stay on guard against any unexpected surprises, that's enough. Like you said, we just need to do what we are good at doing. Puzzle is who is an extremely powerful fighter number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very well, Puzzle Pierce, with an extremely powerful neural cloud number two. <laughs> Perhaps when we put all the pieces together, we will be able to find the solution to all the mysterious surrounding the Tartarus sector. I smile at Nod, and then I focus my attention on the slowly shifting Rubik map and my data display. All my efforts are devoted to finding the grass looking within, or perhaps the threads of logic that runs through them. Meanwhile, Eos watches our surroundings. A moment later, she suddenly continues our precious conversation. Still, it would be terrible if we got a picture of the Tartarus sector if I were pieced together with you. Let's pick something else instead. Um, such as Eos activated her detector module and slowly scans me from head to toe with what might be actual seriousness. Before stopping at the symbol representing my status as a sanctifier. Such as a picture that represents us as sanctifiers. What an unexpected answer. I thought you would 
go for something more interesting or rather more romantic. Instead you chose something that was surprisingly practical. In that case what kind of picture would you choose? An oasis, daybreak, an expanse of wine, white. An oasis, <laughs> let's go with oasis. An oasis? Yes. After reflexively mentioning that word, I realize I have no idea why it came to mind. Oh, you, you know, we know why. Are you talking about a place that sheltering agents and gives people hope i didn't expect an answer like that from you man now i want to know what we, what we can actually choose still it sounds nice i think about that but <laughs> i think about what the two of them said before we set out and laughed then i jokingly imitate them as i speak Eos, the future of Magra Sea is in our hands. In the middle ring of Tartarus sector. Is this always for us? Ah, I advance deeper into the labyrinth with Eos. And as we get closer to our destination, the numbers of the Anthropics attacking us grows larger and larger. However, Eos' quick reactions mean that they do not pose a threat to us at any time. Hey! Those numbers have come up quite a few times. Maybe if we spotted them in here or here. Hey! Huh? Is something the matter, Eos? We have arrived. I look up from the fast fork of data and the ruined watchtower known as Object Tower B1 looms before us. Well, have you learned something yet? Currently, we have been attacked 41 times and there are 148 sets of data links to them. I tried using the Rubik's map to replicate the changes of in the data, but I haven't been able to identify any activity trends in the labyrinth. Do you think you might have been imagining things? Perhaps. I frown and verify that the coordinates of object tower B1 on the Rubik's map is correct and then put it away. Do you have an estimate on the number of enemies inside the watchtower? Do you need me to help with the scouting? No, the entire structure is very spacious. There are no enemies inside or high destiny operant source. Destiny or my density? Density operant source. Could the Anthropics have destroyed the Halo system inside and simply left? The video image shows that the Halo device is intact, at least on the surface. It appears untouched. It's quite... too quiet. I'm starting to feel uneasy. Don't worry, I will protect you. We advance into the watchtower. One after the other. Eos is at my back, orienting herself in readiness for battle. Relax, no matter what teams the Anthropics might have, they will have to face us head on in the end. If they are gathered in one tower to ambush Eosphorus and Alcione, Icephorus had the relic, and he is the strongest fighter among us. You don't need to worry too much about him, I do worry so much about this stupid dude. 
on Altiona's side, her hero is fully activated. So th things are safe for her. Even if she meets danger, she can launch an appropriate signal arrow. Have faith in them. They will be fine. <laughs> I'm worried. I, I don't think they will be fine. The last time they will be fine, it was not fine. Huh? We continue upwards as we speak. For some reason, the interval structure of the tower feels wrong to me. Inter interval? Internal. If you are still worried, why not verify our rendezvous point with the Rubik map? That way, we can go to support the other tower right away if something comes up. That makes sense. I take out the Rubik's map again and change the display to show object tower B2 and object tower B3. This is when I realize where the problem lies. The coordinates. The coordinates? What's wrong? Oh, watchtower is fine, but the coordinates of the other two towers has shifted. I reflex look towards my blind spot, but what I see shocks me. A shadowly figure emerges from behind us and plunges down on us. I grab Eos around the waist and tackle her on the ground. A gleam of cold light flashes past us, slicing all clothes open. Ah. You really are a keen one, but it's too late for you now. The best way to trick a smart person is to make them think something is wrong. Assume a problem exists and draw their own conclusions. As for me, all I needed to do is mess with the condition needed to arrive at those conclusions and my aim will be achieved oh yeah that's the spider the shadow figure climbs onto the ceiling and dangles down revealing the bewitching smile of a girl inverted about us thus 148 sets of suspicion data form a coordinates shifting commands when every single one is entered into the rubik's map the web you weave for insects is completely different from the one needed for a beast. Don't you think the ones made with Remo sensitive silk are great? The smart box will study the web and draw claws. I, I kinda don't understand what you mean by this. No, if it has been that sanctifiers called Atlas instead, I might have gone for a more direct trap. So she might just, because we are that smart, she goes for a smart trap too. The girl combs her bangs aside and her blade legs point down at us. Welcome to Antenora's brand new layer made specially to capture identifiers. This fake watchtower, oh it's a fake watchtower, took me quite a lot of effort to build. I even managed to replicate the weathering too. Oh, I get it, she created a watchtower and and entered the data of the watchtower in our Rubik map. I hope your performance will be worthy of this stage. You 
Ah. Part 19. Metamorphosis. Nourished with law and given shelter, the sprout now awakens. In the middle ring of Tartarus, at the old Sanctifier's Watchtower object, Tower B2. This is where Alcione is. The purple tide of the Anthropix is halted outside of the Hello, surrounding the entire area. However, the Anthropix remain still. Perhaps they fear the damage that the Hello will do to them, or the petted figure standing guard in front of the watchtower. With a twisted cry, the Anthropix float into the Hello from all directions. A day near its center, the horde weakens, the form and finally dissolves into liquid entropy. Judgment arrow. Man, you only know one move all the time. Come on, Alcyon. The golden arrow parts the purple sea and dispatches countless entropics. Target struck. No recharging. Golden opera hands gather in Alcyon's hand once again. But it seems as though the Anthropix horde around her have chosen this moment to speed up the advance on the watchtower. They were waiting for the recharge. Uh, sentry guns fire at will. Uh, it's defense mechanism. The Anthropics are mercilessly slain by the fusillade of fire from the sentry guns and Alcione uses this brief respite to fully recharge her operands. The golden arrow and the interlocking field of fire uh, bring this battle to its conclusion. Okay, I can do this. With the halo and the watchtower's defense attachments, I can hold out until the other two watchtowers activate. During the battle, Alcione looks back to where Electra is. Alcione has opened the repair system's real-time update window and checks it again for the uh, for the NTH time. Repair system operating. Repair progress at 40%. Uh, it's not that much. Only 40%? You need to hurry, Electra. Until then, I will do my best, Atlas. Alcione strokes her keepsake from Atlas and then looks resolutely outside the halo again. More entropics. Not going to give me a break, aren't you? The Anthropic's army beyond the Halo relies itself and mounts another charge. But I won't be careless again this time. Remaining operands. A 70% commands battle. Of course, I knew that Alcione from before the reset was your big sister. I learned that instantly from a casual search of the database. But she wasn't me. The Alcyon in your heart must have been someone you cherish more than anyone else. But I don't remember anything about her. If you wanted to use me as a substitute for her, I could have cooperated with you and become her. Oh, what's going on? Like, I know Alcione and Electra were like big sisters right now, and Electra, right? Like, Alcione was before the big sister of Electra, but now Alcione was deleted, or like defeated. 
and reset it. Or if you didn't want to see me, I could have simply stayed away from you. Whatever you wanted, I could accommodate and make it work. At least that's what I thought would happen but then you skipped up to me and called me your little sister oh you even forced me to eat chocolates oh Alexander likes chocolate oh Isharis likes chocolate I don't know who, why her name got changed eating uh, is pointless for a sanctifier but that stuff was bitter and sweet you never once mentioned the Alcione from before to me. That was a relief. Having a big sister feels pretty good too. And the chocolate, it tasted good too. Remaining operant 30%. Alcione drops her longbow, but before she finished charging up her shot, the Entropic's army suddenly splits into three, each plunging into the halo from a different direction. Alcione does not hesitate. Instead, she calmly puts her bowstrings back. Her golden arrow cycles down the Entropic's horde, coming right at her. The sentry guns join the fray as well, targeting the other two groups. Under the severe damage inflicted by the gunfire and Halo, the foremost Entropic suddenly collapses. However, the Entropic that follow in its wake absorbs its corpses even as they continue forward. Cannibalizing themselves, aren't they? Those demons make me throw up. Still, don't think of getting even a single step past me. Behind me stands... Ramble? Oh my god. Alton is about to draw her bow back with a violent shaking suddenly occurs from the watchtower. This this is the shaking is accompanied by ripples in the halo projected by the tower as though it might vanish at any moment warning core control is reporting that halo is offline is this a malfunction did the entropies infiltrated the watchtower Scanning for abnormal signal. For region normal. Repair region normal. Fire control region normal. I region scans. No abnormal signal detected. The early warning systems are reporting everything is fine. Ah. You useless thing. I will do look myself. Track. The wavering hello shadows and the writhing entropics are suddenly revitalized. However, golden arrows drive them back before they can approach the watchtower. Sentry gun, maximum power! Hold on until I get back! Alcione fires off a few more explosive arrows to serve as land mines for the Anthropics and then quickly flies back inside the tower. Inside the former Sentify Watchtower at the core control terminal. <laughs> the terminal is surrounded by a cloud of smoke, joined by the occasional spark from short uh, circuits. Damn it! Why did the Anthropic sneak in here? Alcione draws her bow 
back all the way and fires a shot about the console. At the golden arrow's streak past, the wind of its passage sucks all the smoke away and leaves the room clean. Where are they? The petite body tenses up and she scans her ro the room over and over again, but there are still no entropics inside. Where are you hiding? Oh no! What if they gone over to Electra? What if this is Electra itself? Artyon runs to the repair bay at top speed. But what awaits her there is the activated repair system. Electra? She's gone. Electra, where are you? Oh no, Electra, did, did, what did Electra done? No need to shout, I'm here. Her reflexes walk faster than her cautious mind. Altona looks up excitedly, eager to face the owner of that voice. What? Sam? Electra? I hate this game. But instead, he is met by a sharp blade piercing into the mound of her abdomen. <coughs> Liquid entropy pours deeply into the wounds along the blade's length and searing pain spreads inside her body. Alcione looks at the monitor inside through her bloodiness vision, but it still displays the repair progress. Repair system operating. Repair progress at 40%. Hmm, that's right. It's me, Ellie. Why? Why do you have to do this to me? Uh, extra. Why? That familiar voice was sudden attack. The egg in her belly and the constant sound of the alarm. Oh no. Oh no, Electra got infected. Why, game, please give me a break. Can, I, can something happen good? Oh, you called my name, big sis, Alcione. Warning, high order entropy signal detected. Oh, thank you for telling me right now. Electra, you... How did you... But... It isn't big sis, Alcione, but Ellie. The purple tracery, the strange body shape, and that raised tone of voice. There's no doubt that this is anthropization. Anthropization? Demon! <laughs> Dizziness gnaws at her neural cloud, and Alcyon struggles to make out the look on Electra's face emits the mass of alerts, feeling her vision. Ah, well, I'm sorry. Are you mad, Big Sis Arzione? I was just playing a prank. Sure. Does it hurt? 
Let me heal you. You put all points together in Electro's hand. Electro steps forward and Artyon step back. Don't move around. We will open up the wound. Bear with it, Ellie. Soon, you will be a friend of mine too. I will be with Big Sis Artyone forever. Electra. Artyone bites her lip and backs off to make room between the two of them. The blade removed from her wounds as operance drips from it. Oh, I told you not to move. That must have hurt, right? Stay back. Alcione managed to steady herself and her hands tremble as she puts back her bow and aims at the person before her. Electra, no, you're not Electra. But I am Electra, Ellie. I'm more awake now that I have been ever. I can send everything from the past to the future. Won't you join me along with him, Osphorus and Eos? We will all be together and we will never lose anything again. How did you become like this? Oh? Oh. Why don't you take a guess, Ellie? As she looks at the Electra playful expression, a crimson figure suddenly appears in Artyon's mind. Oh! <gasps> Oof! It was back then? An ominous purple spreads from the high or the Anthropic's palm and explodes inside Electra's body. Oh yeah, you already knew this would go wrong. Go wrong. Warning system structure damage at 40%. Warning basic power transmission program offline. Warning system turbulence. Damn you. It was Saina. Well done, Ellie. You figured it out so soon. That's right. It was thanks to Tsaina's hard work. Oh, don't talk like this. Oh. Oh. Although the reason why this seed of anthropization could flourish was due to your effort, Ellie. Huh? You? What do you mean? It's because you were so kind and cautious as to perform a deep repair on me, Ellie. That gave the seed of anthropization the perfect time in which to gestate. And the upper hands from the repair process gave the seed all the nutrients it needed. <laughs> See how lovely it is? Oh my god. Electra runs her blouse lightly over her body. She seems very satisfied with her current state. I... As she watches the irrational Electra, Alcione wants to say something, but the words refuses to leave her throat. I should have performed a full diagnosis on Electra. Back then, when she skipped it, I should have insisted on it. If only I had don't leave me, Electra. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Atlas. Lord Osphorus. Science, we have confirmed that the Hellos exist and that they have a suppressive effect on the Entropics. Then it's time for us to strike back and cleanse those demons. Alcantifiers, take heed. Alcione, 
We will hold this watchtower and ensure the safety of this hello. We failed. We will also be in charge of electro treatments. We failed. Ah. Alcione touches her chest in pain. But her eyes are fixed on the watchtower's core control terminal. Now it's not the time to self pity. Wow, I'm surprised you are still thinking about how to complete your mission. Even now. Earnest and reliable little Ellie. Ah, you are just like big sister Alcione was in the past. Even when she encountered difficulties, she would put herself together. She was small. But she always stood in front of me to protect me. Electra slowly walks towards Alcione. Her claws laid wide. Behind her, hordes of entropies merge from the shadow. Whenever you find a problem, you need to prepare to deal with it. Do you know how much effort it took us to make this watchtower's part of us? But it's alright. We are almost there. Just a little more and you won't need to try so hard anymore. <sighs> Still, can you really do? Push. Alcion's answer with her actions. An arrow flies forward. Electra takes a defensive state, but the razor wind in its wake still grazes her. Don't look down on me! And don't look down on Electra! Holy, why? Why is this happening? Like. Literally unable to catch a breath. Part 20. The third arrow. When she announces the signal, arrow significance beforehand. Alcione. Why won't you let me go to the border battlefronts? My training source have exceeded the passing mark many times. Ellie, it isn't time yet. What do you mean it isn't time? Is it because I was reset before? I, I want to go wipe out the Anthropics with you and him. Ah, uh, it's enough that you are thinking like that, Ellie. Stop treating me like a kid. Didn't we used to go on missions together before I was resetted? Why can't I go with now? I. Squish, 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 squish. Ah, your cheeks are so soft and puffy. They feel so good. Electra. Haha, <laughs> Electra. Are you back from the front lines? Yes, I am. What's happening? Is Ellie being, being difficult? I am not being difficult. I just don't want you to treat me like a kid. I want to be like everyone. Ellie, the border battlefront is different from your training, you know? Electra's smile fades and she gives Alcione a serious look. But Alcione gets the feeling that she is looking through her and at someone else. Oh no. The Anthropic's action far surpasses that our system can predict. A single mistake might lead to you and your friends being lost. Sanctifiers are reset every battle or even outright deleted. Anthropized agents cannot be resetted and the same applies for Sanctifiers too. Oh no, so Electra cannot be resetted anymore? 
If you are not prepared, you will have to end up living with regret and resentment in your heart. But Wisdom did got uh, entropized and she's alright, Wisdom, isn't she? Electra, that's enough. I... My fighting power is perfectly fine. I won't mess up. Sometimes there are situations you can't easily escape. And even if you don't make mistakes. When I say you're not prepared, I'm not just referring to your ability to fight. Electra picks up one of Alcione's arrow and hands it to her. Defending Magrasi and fighting the Anthropix is both our calling as sanctifiers and our glory. If we were infected by the entropy and you had to delete me to keep it from spreading, could you do it? If I were entropized and you had to fight me to the dead, could you shot this arrow at me? Uh, who, who says I can't? Oh no. Alcione snatches the arrow from Electra and squeezes it tightly. If that day really comes, <laughs> that day. You're shaking, Ellie. You're not really ready yet. I... Your arrow isn't ready to kill. I, I'm, I'm too also not ready. Alright, alright. We are not training now, so better put that arrow away. Otto waves his hand to break up the deadlock between them. You have been at the border battlefront all this time and only just came back. You should get some rest, Electra. <laughs> I guess. I am feeling a little tired. Allegra looks down at her clothes, which are spattered with upper hands and liquid atropy. Her smile is back on her face when she looks up again. Sorry for being so stern just now, Ellie. Uh, I'm not supposed to have a personality like that. You apologize? Why don't I take you with me next time when I slack off? I'm not going to slack off. Ha ha ha, you still. You're right, Electra. It's always good to be prepared. Once Ellie is ready, Alcione, I will. It will be time for me to set foot on the battlefield. And right now, this is the battlefield. In the middle ring of Tartarus, inside the former Sentify Watchtower, Object Tower B2. Judgment! Arrow! A golden arrow slays at Entropic, trying to approach her core control terminal. Where are you looking at, Ellie? Alcione senses the air moving from a strike behind her and immediately pivots while driving her bow. Behind the sharp gloves pointed at her, Alcione meets Electra's eyes. <clears throat> the golden arrow flies forth, but Electra merely gives a wicked smile, easily catching the arrow's shaft. What? Ellie frantically pulls back for another shot, but she's too late. Electra's gloves have Alcione's throat in a death grip, 
and they lift her off the ground. Her other hand punches at the stab wound on Alcione's belly. Mm. You are so amazing, big sis Alcione. You destroyed all the entropics that took me so long to make. But that's alright. Those guys from outside will be here with us soon enough. Electra crushes the golden arrow in her hand and the menacing smile on her face sends a chill down Alcione's spine. It's not over! Ah! Oh dear! I'm sorry. That must have hurt. Electra extends a cloth and gently rubs at Alcione's face. Ah, you look all filthy and injured. Looks like you really have been working hard, Ellie. It's alright. It's okay now. I will send you to the repair bay and soon you will be just as lively as me, big sis Alcione. No! Oh my god. This, can, can I can I back the sleepy Electro? You will survive this time, big sis. I am sure of it. Electro. Electra suddenly ex exerts her strength and the force fills Alcionus with pain. She treasures her legs around, trying to struggle free, but it does not damage to Electras whatsoever. Don't worry, Ellie. This is a necessary step to plant a seed of entropization. Put you dirty claws from us. It will go easier for you if you pass out. Relax and leave it to me. <coughs> then a tree gun fire. Huh? As the sentry gun opens up on her, Electra hurried Let's go of Alcione and backs off to avoid the stream of gunfire from all sides. Uh, that was close. Well done, Ellie. To think you had all the sentry guns ready. But where were those sentry guns originally hidden? I searched very carefully around the control terminal, you know? Even though I have lost most of my permissions, I should still have been able to find them. Alcionis grabs her throat in pain, but she still keeps the sentry guns pointed towards Electra. Oh god, I can't stop the bleeding, and I'm almost out of operands too. I need to think of something. Electra, Electra, wake up! Ah, oh, I have always been wide awake, big sis Alcione. But why are you rejecting me, Ellie? As Electra looks at her with an evil grin on her face, Alcione has no choice but to back up several steps to keep a distance between them. The state of Electra's entropization. It might already be. Come on, it's not that fast. I know wisdom survived. Electra will also survive. <laughs> you are so reliable, Ellie. Yeah. Isn't yet time for you to use your strength. So just leave it 
to me for now. From where was it? In turn, I will be leaving Electra to you. You will also be responsible for Electra's treatment. Uh, I'm sorry, Eos and Lord Oisphorus. I couldn't protect her. I swear, everyone just goes down here in this this chapter. Are you worried about Oisphorus and Eos, Ellie? It's all right. Lady Malkira will reunite us all. Along with him, of course. Ah, and Atlas too. I'm sure Lady Malkira will be able to rescue him and bring us all back together. Atlas. Among Electra's mad ravings, that name strums on Alcione's nerve. That's right. We will be just like before, all together again. Whoosh. We're not happy about it. The golden arrow sinks into the ground near Electra's foot. Ah, oh, Pixie Salcione. I told you that half-hearted attacks like this. That's an explosion arrow, yeah. <laughs> oh my, so it was an explosion arrow? The arrow embedded in the ground detonates and throw up a cloud of dust. Alcyon uses her to push opportunity to hide. That's right, Altas is dead. Identifier skilled by Entropic in Tartarus. There is no repairing them. No resetting them. All we can do is wait for the Pantheon to generate something similar to them. Oh. However. Defending Magra C and fighting the Entropics is both our calling as Sanctifiers and our glory. However, Atlas fulfilled his calling and I won't let anyone insult, not even you, Electra. This is an honor that belongs to a Sanctifier. Alcione fires three signal arrows in rapid succession out of the watchtower. Signal arrows, it seems you have made up your mind, Ellie. One is a request for help. Two means help is coming. And three means a fight to the death. Very well. Perhaps I was looking forward to this day. An eerie, murderous aura erupts from Electra's body. We hold our blades in the darkness. We defend order in the face of chaos. We bear a light in the long night. We must not abuse our power because we are strong and neither can we abandon our responsibilities because we are weak. Alcione holds her hand across her chest as she receives the Sanctifier's creed. For all we heed the revelation of God and we act to carry out His will because we obey the same voice together in eternity. Alcione takes a deep breath which I should to, to take to she conjured up a flaming arrow, then presses its head to her wool bone. Ah. Also, she's making self healing. The heat sears the wound shut, and it keeps more operands from floating out. Come, Electra. Let's fight until all the halos in the middle ring go online. Oh, Ellie. You look so cute when you try so hard. 
but you really need to face the facts, you know? A uh, crumbling noise from outside the watchtower accompanies Electra's words. The uh, Entropic army begins pouring into the watchtower through a breach in the wall, but Alcione does not waver. If you have forgotten that those words mean, then I will help you remember. If you have become the darkness, then I shall become the flare that lights up the night. Altuna knocks an arrow and takes aim at Electra's chest. As a great sanctifier, this is what I must do, both for Outlaws and for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, unfulfilled wishes, unreachable chores. Arrow clash again gloves. Inside the watchtower, Electra continues battling Alcione. Ah, this feeling takes me back. The feeling of Big Sis Alcione when you got serious and the joy of simulated battle. Ah, you're so cute when you get serious, Ali. Hey, don't worry. I won't let you die. Why don't we do it like in the past? If I win, you listen to me. How about that? Altsman does not answer. The arrow she fires not only keep Electra from advancing, but also wiped out the Entropix advancing on the control terminal. I might have talked big just now, but Electra really is too hard to handle. Also, she is well stalked on upper hands due to being anthropized. And I already on the end of my tether. Electra, come fight a sim battle with me. Oh, that was sudden, Ollie. It's too much of a pain. Why don't you ask Atlas? I'm seizing every chance I get to slack off. Because you said I'm not ready yet. You would understand if you fight me. I will prove that I can enter the battlefield too. Oh, you're exactly the same as you used to be. Alright then, signs you ask. Although... You agreed. Why did you never go all out? Now that I think about it, you were the only who wasn't prepared, right? Ah, uh, I guess I lost to Ellie again. Electra, you had me dead to right now. Why didn't you strike? But you're so cute, Ellie. How could I be a to do it? Quit pitching my face! Listen, we are great sanctifiers. For the sake of democracy, we can't slack off. Whether it's fighting, the Anthropics, or patrolling, or in sim battles. <sighs> Listen to me! You are great as Sanctifier, yet you are all ditzy and laid back and keep running from practice. What are you afraid of? Alcione awaits Electra's cloud with great effort, then fires a golden arrow as a parting shot. However, Electra easily parries it. <laughs> That's Big Sis Alcione's trademark. Retreating shot. You know, 
I'm much more familiar with that move than you are. Electra, today's practice, huh? Electra? Where is she? <laughs> Get up! Get up, you caller! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, is that you, Ellie? Did you smell the chocolate I made? Uh, what's with that? Oh, mm, it's so sweet that it's making me shudder. What's with that? This is a snack that I spent all night and all my efforts making for you, Ellie. What the heck is this? Wait, you spent all night on it? Was that why you were late for morning practice? Today is morning practice? Oh, it was a special class for retreating shots, right? I mastered that in the seams long ago. It will be fine even if I miss it. Quit making excuses. I never used it before in my sim battle with you. <laughs> I'm sure you will be able to make good use of the retreating shot. I need to get close to defeat it. Then, then I will just need to think of a way to keep you from getting close. I should give it a try next time. Hey, wait! Don't try to run away! Thanks to you, I figured out how to win. And my maybe only move! Judgment Arrow! Alcione grinned her teeth as she weakens Electra on slot. Then uses a blind spot in the terrain to fire off a shot. However, Electra seems to have read her every mo movement. The arrow are no good against Electra. She knows their trajectory, their timing, everything about them. <laughs> that's that's the way. It's been so long since I could go all out when fighting you this is it the sharp claws shed the edges of Alcione's cloth Alcione pulls out an arrow and barely managed to block Electra's attack Alcione labored breathing indicates that her operance levels are at their limits. But at this moment, the two of them are closer than even before. As she looks at the familiar face that's almost touching her, Alcione smiles. <laughs> You're finally looking at me, Electra. Electra's. <laughs> Electra jumps at Alcione. Alcione does not dodge, but moves into the blow. Electra claws pierce a petite body. Oh. Huh? In response, Alcione extends her arms and grabs Electra by her throat. Oh my god. Alcione begin hack? Alcione and Electra both screaming. Unlike the expected hack, the traits of anthropization on Electra instead counter hack Alcione. Oh. You can do it. This is going to work. What are you trying to do? 
What? Anthropize Electra? Yeah. And they're using Angel model with bow. Like, I already knew this is the Electra from, from the bow. It was clear. Warning. Warning system. Anthropization at 10%. Warning system. Anthropization at 24%. Warning. Infection has exceeded critical value. Warning. Anthropization suppression program is no longer, longer effective. Anthropization cannot be reversed. Scanning target anthropization rate. Subject Electra. Anthropization rate at 99%. And it's going down. To 94%? Terminate connection immediately. Subject Electra. IFF designation changes from Anthropic to Sanctifier? No way. This will do. No way, Ellie. No way, it worked. It, no way. It worked, really? Electra <laughs> not calling me big sis anymore. No way it worked. No way. No way. Something positive happening. Ellie. You force a connection between all Nora clouds? Yep. This way I can share the infection of anthropization. But, I know, no way, no, 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 we are not, it's not the end. They will just go, yeah, anthropization starting rising up. Subject electron precision rate at 94. 95 terminate connection immediately I know sharing the infection won't actually cure you just buy you some time oh I I was and you will end up being irreversibly infected too yep but it's all right I'll send scraps her chest and gets up before heading to the terminal. System reconnection completed. System command restart. Hello. Two white light instantly fills the watchtower. Sensing the threat of the halo, the anthropics pour into the watchtower and make a mad rush toward the core console. However, Alcione condenses an arrow out of operands and stabs it into the ground. The golden fire spreads from the arrow and engulfs the console and the flames wall of any anthropics trying to approach that should hold you off for a while now the mission can be completed no way after setting up the hello again Alcione stumbles over to Electra I'm sorry Electra Alcione I really do like you, Ellie. Yeah, you are the best too, Big Sis Electra. Uh, this seems like the first time you called me Big Sis. Yep, because that certain dummy was calling me that for too long. Alcione gently strokes Electra cheek. I'm so sorry, I'm still... 
couldn't protect you in the end. Well, it's all false for being dummies after all. That's true. If only we could both be resetted in the Pantheon. The Pantheon can save Sentifiers who have fallen in Tartarus. But if we could be resetted, what kind of relationship would we have? <laughs> it feels like we would still argue all the time. You will, <laughs> you will do it. I have the feeling that I would love chocolate thanks to so a certain soul. <laughs> She does like chocolate. <laughs> Warning system. Anthropization at 95%. System collapse. <laughs> Immediate. Subject Electra. Anthropization rate at 99%. The purple threads of anthropization creep along Alcyon's body like thorny vines. Ellie? Yeah? It's time. Yeah. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Alcyon slowly steps up and drops her bow. Lord Osphorus, Eos, and you, may fortune smile on you. This is, this is too crazy. This... Oh my god. <laughs> Can I say it? I don't know, man. I think that's it with part 5. And I will say thank you for watching, listening. Have a great day in night afternoon and see you in part six where we revenge everyone and i i yeah it was a good chap uh good part see you